So the scale of NYCHA portfolio is immense. The climate mitigation roadmap is NYCHA's plan to basically modernize our portfolio in the face of the threat of climate change. 830 Amsterdam is the first building where we will be electrifying space heating and domestic hot water. That will allow us to comply with local law 97. 830 Amsterdam will be a model for the portfolio and how to get there. We've decided to use design build as a delivery method for this project. The advantages of design build are a compressed timeline. Design build allows you to compress the design and the construction phase into essentially one phase. You have the ability to procure materials for your project while you're still in the design phase. Here's this 20-story building, a high-rise building that's in very good construction, but the fact is that it doesn't have the infrastructure for heat pumps. Thankfully, through NYPA's design-build process, we found the right partners. We came to uh, Dynamic US, who was able to provide a proposal, a solution, that utilizes heat pump technology. Heat pump technologies for domestic hot water heating have existed in Europe for many years. They're just coming to market here in the United States. 830 Amsterdam is one of the first buildings to employ this technology and demonstrate that this is a stable technology, it works, it works in a cold climate. And for the authority, this will be a demonstration and hope for how we would decarbonize and decouple domestic hot water across the portfolio. We're going back and replacing these aging, low-pressure steam boiler systems, which were good for the time. But for the future, we needed a technology that not only provides heating, but also cooling. And so a heat pump technology provides that at the most efficient way that's out there now. The most important part about public housing is the fact that you need, as an urban center, to have an economic diversity. It's imperative that we're able to be good stewards of the buildings and make sure that we can preserve these buildings for the future. Because if we, we don't, then the city itself will not be able to exist as it is today. A lot of our residents are seniors, low income. They are the most susceptible to some of the most negative impacts of climate change. Temperatures are getting hotter right? So you have residents that are experiencing the effects of hotter summers and, you know, air conditioning units that, you know, don't cool those apartments versus the new technology, which is more efficient. It's a home run. The tenants will have the ability for the first time ever, a measure of control of the heat in their apartments. Having the ability by room to select what the temperature is is going to be such a, a, a benefit to our residents that uh, NYCHA has never been able to have before. This project is this is hopefully the first of many efforts by the state to address climate change and its impact on disadvantaged communities and what better place to do it in a high-rise multifamily apartment building in New York City. This isn't about energy efficiency work. This isn't about energy su supply alone. This is about quality of life for people who don't necessarily have the means to get there. And that's the solution we're bringing.